Today's To The Point topic, uh, we're going to make a Christmas art library free. And uh, we recently done this for Halloween, but I can tell by the views that everybody on the internet hadn't seen it yet. So, it won't hurt to do it again. And it'll give you a place to get some free characters to make that art library with. Uh, so we're going to go to defont.com. And you want to go over to the right and click Christmas. And in the preview, you can you can write something or not. Um, the main thing is you want to go over to size and click large. Leave it on popularity. Go to more options. Click 100% free and you'll note that it also selects public domain. That way you can be sure that uh, the uh, fonts that you use won't be, uh, you know, won't be a problem later on. Click the Submit button, and this is the one we're looking for, Christmas by Ding Bang. So I'm glad people do this. It, uh, it's a good way to get vectors without having to draw them out yourself, and uh, you can also alter some to, uh, to make others that you need. So you can click the Download button here, or you can click on the one of the characters, and it'll open up a map for what all of the uh, vectors look like. And in this particular case, the capitals and lowercase are exactly the same. Uh, but of course you could see there's others that you can choose from and you can make a really robust Christmas uh, art library that you'll be ready for the season. Okay, so now we can click download. I've already got it downloaded. So, we will open here and you'll get this Christmas 2 zip file. You just right click on it, extract it with whatever program you have. You'll get this one folder, Christmas 2. Open that up, you'll get a single true type font. You'll right click, install, and it will become available to uh, Lightburn immediately. And like I've said before, Lightburn doesn't actually come with any fonts. It just inherits whatever's on your computer or whatever you download. Uh, so we're going to make, we're going to go to the text tool. And we're going to go up top and find this font. It's this one where you just see characters. It doesn't have a, a name with it. Uh, you'll just see the characters. Click on that. And then... You can start over here because it's going to push this to the left. But just start typing and get your letters out. Click your selector tool. And if you want them to be larger in your uh, art library, just stretch them out a little bit. Once you get a set of letters typed out, uh, you want to right click and convert to path. Uh, that way they're no longer letters, they are individual objects and you can move them around. They're also not grouped, uh, so you want to be sure to group them so you don't lose bits and pieces of them. The ones you're going to keep, just select and go up top and group them together. Otherwise they will be ungrouped in your art library and you don't want that. So just group them all together. And then as you put these in the art library, you can name them whatever, whatever you would like to do. Matter of fact, I've got the entire set here. You can see on the bottom right. And I just named them C1 through C26. Uh, but just group them all together. Uh, and then go down to your where your art library tab is and click new. Uh, just give it a name, give your art library a name. We'll just call it Christmas. Uh, and with that open, you can select the vector you want and click down at the bottom right, import graphic from project give that a name. We'll just call it C1. Click OK. And now you can see 
that is in your art library. You can pull it out and use it anytime you like. And you can just go through the entire alphabet and add them in. And there's uh, others, a lot of others to choose from. And you can you can add those to this, or you can do separate uh, separate libraries and pick through and get the get the vectors you really want to use or you most often use for uh for christmas and uh if you have any questions let me know i'm glad to answer them but i believe that wraps up today's to the point topic